we welcome you to the dedication of the bronze statue of Edgar Odell Levitt by the artist Bruce Wolfe. We pay tribute today not only to the legacy of our founding president, but also to his many family members who are with us today, some of whom have traveled from all over. We are so happy to recognize you and happy to have you here. We can only imagine how you must feel with your family's contribution to this university and this city and beyond. It is really altogether fitting, in fact, one might say a necessity, that on this occasion of our centennial, we should properly honor the one person who has really had more influence than anyone else on shaping the university of today. He served for over 38 years from 1908 when he began those, was appointed and began those world travels that shaped his vision about what this university should aspire to be. Through two world wars and a great depression, brought this university into modern times. And today, we express not only our gratitude for his service and vision, but recognize at our centennial the remarkable fruit that that service and vision bore. And I think it just shows the great affection and respect for we had, that we had for this extraordinary man who 100 years ago created this idea. And it also shows the loyalty that all of us have for what was created. This statue, uh, it took me about nine, eight, ten, ten months, about trying to get a feeling um, of the man himself, and uh, I felt that he was, um, he must have been quite, quite a guy. I would like to ask the great, great grandchildren of Edgar Adele Levitt to take their places. We have asked them today to perform the unveiling of the statue of their great, great grandfather. One, two, three. Bravo, bravo. Tears came into my eyes. It has his energy. Of course, I didn't know him at that age, but uh, he really, uh, Bruce captured him totally in my estimation. It, the cane, the books, the energy, he truly had the energy and he walked everywhere and it shows that. And the fact that he looks like he's going to step off the, the uh, granite base, I mean, it's just, it's his energy that he really had. He was a lovely man and uh, both my older sister and I knew him for a great deal of his life. And so it's been a real, a real heartwarming experience for me to see this. Well, I remember uh, Father Lovett using a book strap. We'd come out to uh, pick him up. He walked a lot, and he'd walk back to the Plaza Hotel, and he'd have his books on a book strap. So that's it's one of the aspects of the statute that I really like. I think Bruce did a wonderful job in capturing it. Well, I, I think historians will say this, or, and the public will say, this was a very appropriate moment, that, that the founding of Rice in 1912 was a spectacular moment not simply in the history of this institution, but in the history of Houston. And uh, we, have, we had a founding vision by a very visionary president and a whole six, a, a series of presidents and board trustees and so forth have uh, tried to fulfill that vision that Lovett spelled out in 1912. And to a remarkable degree, we have become the university that he, he imagined in 1912. And so this was a really appropriate occasion to celebrate what we had achieved and to be proud of what we achieved, but also to recognize that in the same way that Lovett looked forward, that we too need to look forward and we need to set new goals and new vision for the, for the uh, next century.